Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel once again. Uh, Kenroy here and I'm just in the garden because I need to start tidying up. Autumn is here and some of our produce have already been harvested and as you know at the end of the season you need to start clearing up right it's always good to clean up after yourselves as the weeds are starting to come in the temperature is starting to drop although today is a very very nice day out in the garden i've got my little worker bee with me <laughs> she was just here munching on some snacks and we're going to be clearing up some of the um, stuff in the garden because as you can see it's all a bit chaotic at the moment now there's not a huge amount to harvest at the moment just mostly leafy greens uh, there's still a few things that we're waiting to come in um, like I said in the last video our chocho uh, we've got some pumpkins that we need to harvest there's still a few tomatoes that are clinging on for dear life but I think the weather is kind of winning at the moment so there's no way these tomatoes are going to hold on for much longer so I'm going to be uprooting the remaining tomato plants we've got on the outside I will leave the ones in the greenhouse as there might still be some life left in them so we'll see but what I will do is just trim them right the way back so today I'm just going to be doing some tidying up so you can follow me around the garden guys and while you're following me around the garden don't forget to hit the subscribe button guys really appreciate it come on we can make it to 2,000 subscribers this year um, our channel is now monetized and so every time you subscribe and watch our videos we actually um, earn a bit of revenue from that which is pretty excited right who knew that YouTube um, would actually be bringing in some revenue from our hobby which is really nice so thank you guys for watching and always supporting we really do appreciate it guys so without any further ado let's get tidying up guys <laughs> going to be getting rid of this guys because like I said they're all just getting battered by the cold and the intense rain that we've been having recently but really really gorgeous these little tomatoes are so sweet and we've been just tucking away the kids oftentimes come out and just pick them and eat them despite the fact that I tell them to make sure that they wash them but you know what kids are like now these are some of the yellow variety of tomatoes but as you can see, we've got loads on there which are still unripened. I didn't actually plant these ones, they just sort of grew and this is what we've ended up with. But I think it's time for this one to go guys. Uh, just absolutely amazed how much space these tomato bushes can take up. I can use the green one. Mm -hmm. Import, the not these tiny ones though. Yeah, we can, not the tiny ones, we can use the, the ones that are big enough. So like this? Those ones are too small. what this is I just saw it growing I think it might be some garlic from last season or something but yeah time will tell see a few of them growing here maybe there was some garlic that was left in the ground but in any case I think it's time for me to finally harvest one of these pumpkins because the leaves have definitely died back now and yeah we might as well get it in the house for storage really looking forward what these are like no doubt they're gonna be great <laughs> what you look like at least you're having a good time which is nice 
first pumpkin of the season. Come and, come and put it What's over it here. <laughs> What's on your ear? I don't know. That one, there's like a wasp on it. There was a wasp on it, was like. There's nothing there. That was something. Oh. Let me see. I actually heard a and something landed on me. <laughs> Careful. Okay, so now you want to break all my hard work. <sighs> anyway, keep going, guys. Are these all rubbish? Put them in a the pile over here. These are our pumpkin seeds. So put all of the ones over here in a pile if you finish with them. But let me show you guys what's been happening with our chocha plant. You can see there's loads of little babies coming out from everywhere. It's literally just starting to blossom like crazy. Even though we had uh, the first couple, which is almost time for me to harvest these ones. Look at the size of this bad boy. Ooh, that's a big chocha. It's still going, still blossoming and I'm sure we're going to be able to harvest some from this especially if the weather stays like this I can't believe how warm it is as we're going into October This is what we've cut off from the tomato plants in the greenhouse. There's a few large beef tomatoes still left in there so I'm going to leave them to see if they'll ripen a little bit before harvesting as the greenhouse typically is a bit warmer than outside. Still got loads of clearing up to do guys but for now this is what we've managed. This is what we've harvested so far. So unlike my Jerusalem artichoke guys I've actually managed to get myself an actual artichoke this year which I've planted but it got overtaken with all the pumpkins and everything and somehow this little guy's managed to survive now I have no idea how to grow artichokes and basically what the right care is so I need to do some research on this so if you guys know anything about artichokes how to grow them when they start actually fruiting do let me know in the comments down below because we love to eat them so it'd be great if we could also grow some as well uh, so yeah hopefully this little guy will survive over the winter and bounce back next spring okay guys I'm gonna leave this video here so we have managed to harvest our first pumpkin of the season and we're doing some massive clear up of what we've been growing in the garden as things start to die back now, it's time for me to start thinking about next season, how we're gonna prepare the soil, make sure we get it nice and cleaned up, get this whole area covered, because if you don't cover it, the neighbor's cats will come and use this whole place like a toilet, which you don't want. So we're gonna clear all of this and wait for my pumpkins to die back, harvest these Jerusalem artichoke, and then we'll get this all filled with compost and fertilizer from our um, horse manure, and then we'll just get this all covered up lay dormant until next season so i'll see you guys in the next video and don't forget to keep on gardening guys god bless take care